So either you have or you're currently thinking of buying a Sony camera, and since Sony has released Imaging Edge Webcam, which is a utility kind of like the Canon Webcam utility, but for Sony cameras. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set that up, and then you can decide if it's worth even using. So if you come over to Sony's website, or you can just search right here on Google for Imaging Edge Webcam, this is the utility to be able to download for Sony cameras. If we come over to download, you can scroll on down and you would select the camera that you have. I have the A6500 and then click on download for Windows. Now I already downloaded and installed this. So basically the process is you're going to just click next, 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 and that's about it. And then go ahead and open up whatever application, for example, like OBS, which is what I'm using right now to record with, or Skype or Teams or something else that you want to be able to use the camera as a webcam with. After you have it installed, you want to come over into the setup and go to screen number four out of seven and change the USB connection to PC remote. Now my G85 refuses to focus like it normally does. So anyways, uh, you just come on down to the fourth uh, setup screen on the very far right under like the briefcase and go to USB connection and set that to PC remote. Then you go ahead and plug in your micro USB over to the camera. Switch over to the camera here for you. So this is using that uh, utility directly from Sony. And as you can see, the frame rate is not that uh, great. Although the quality does look okay, but it seems kind of like it's dropping frames. Also, the camera is not able to provide any audio to the computer. It is all being recorded separately by a separate microphone that I have set up here. And if we go ahead and click on the usage instructions, it walks you through basically everything that I just showed you. And if we go down to the bottom here, this is the resolution. Now what's interesting is I do not see a frames per second on here. I'm a little bit uh, disappointed to be honest, and I'm not sure why Sony uh, doesn't have that information available for how many frames per second, or even like a bitrate or anything. But if you were looking to buy a camera or a mirrorless camera specifically for the use as a webcam or for streaming or recording, then you might want to still consider getting a HDMI USB capture card to be able to just capture the data straight out of the camera via HDMI. Or if you prefer to just use USB, Canon might be a better choice. Now, I already had the A6500, so I really just wanted to try it out. Let me know what you think down in the comment section down below, and I'll catch you in the next one.